Hello everyone, it's Farkit here. And in this video, I'm going to show you a horde base that is very good if you're into mining, using melee weapons and digging tunnels. Because all you need to defend is some hatches. Now first you want to dig a straight line. I'm just going to use the auger because I'm lazy. Now the weapon I'd recommend for doing this is the sledgehammer. And if you can get it maxed out, you're sitting sweet. Though, if you're doing this on day 7, without all this good stuff I've got, you're going to be fine. So I'm going to automatically mine this. If you're wondering how I'm doing this, I've got move forward and automatically hit. And I aim down just a little bit. I'm using G keys for this one. So you press the button, it automatically does it. Okay, that's probably deep enough. Um, yeah, I doubt they're going to get past this. Okay, so next part is to get hatches. And I actually recommend going steel ones. Uh, I think the other ones are a little bit too tough. So they'll start breaking in through the stone instead. So like this. I don't know, you can space them apart however you want to. And what I like to do... Just break a top part like that, because if you crouch, you can't uncrouch until you go to here. And if you're fighting Horde Knight, it might be a bit annoying if you're constantly crouching. You can't get out here to uncrouch yourself, can you? And I'm just going to set myself up with some bandages. Okay. Guess it's not Horde Knight. So, I don't know if you have to wait out here or not. No, I'm just checking if they're actually going to spawn because I'm using console commands to change the time. Now, there's an issue with this I might encounter where it causes the game to crash because I'm cheesing it pretty big here. Okay, looks like it's working. So what you do is that you open it up and it blocks them. And when they start getting through to that one, you move on to the next one. Okay, they've taken down one. Let's move on to the next one. I'm kind of letting them do it. I was actually seeing if I could auto attack. I'm not a big fan of bases that'll cause you to waste too much ammo. I like spending, like, no ammo. It's like my way of incentivizing Horde Knight. You could use any weapon you wanted to. I mean, the spear, anything like that. But the reason I'm using a sledgehammer is that it's got a knockdown effect and an AoE effect. So if they all get a little too much, you can keep them a little bit more stunned, I guess. I'm wearing no armor at all, I think that's a bit of an incentive to thing. And I had to level up heaps, otherwise the game stage doesn't go ahead. And so barely any spawn. Tried this on the first day, it worked fine. Only problem is there's only like 8 of them spawned. I think it was more like 15 or something, but yeah. It wasn't fun. It was very anti-climatic. I'd imagine you could do this with weapons, but why when you can use, use melee? Most people go with mining, don't they? So I got a bit of strength. I'm surprised the game hasn't crashed. Last time I did this, the game crashed. I don't know why though. Never figure it out. Imagine if you wanted a more permanent solution, what you could do is just do a tunnel, but outline it with reinforced concrete or something. Oh, it's a dog. Can he get through? I don't think so. If you clear the one above, they're going to be able to jump over the top of it. Oh, she must got a head in. Would have been my first hit of the night. Yeah, I've got a few more left. What is she doing? Is she blocking them all out? Oh, I thought it was about to crash then. Started. I'll switch away from the modded one. I'd actually try a level one stone sledgehammer. This might be better. Hits a lot quicker. <laughs> I love it when the heads explode, eh? They've dug like a zigzag. Ah. There it goes. Well, I got halfway through the Ford night before it crashed. Oh no, what are we... Wait. It's recovered. I don't know what causes it though. And if you told the devs, I'd probably fix this. If they could even figure it out. Yeah, it's doing it again. It's taking ages to recover. That took like 40 seconds. I only started when I started using a stone sledgehammer. I haven't figured out what's causing it though. I'm gonna sit here in an auto attack and go away from the computer for a bit, see what happens. Yeah, it looks like they're about to bust through. 
Went and took a piss. These iron hatches, the ones you can craft, they're pretty easy to make. Oh. It's a cop. Well, that's a bit sucky, so there's... You can't dodge the spit unless maybe you made a sideways tunnel down the end here. You find them attacking out there too much, what you could do is probably lower this and then it might register as an easier path for them to get to you. Ah, oh, Horde Knight's almost over and still got heaps of hatches left. Ah, oh, there's all the vultures and stuff. <laughs> they can't get to you while you're down here. There we go. So there's a horde base you could play with. I don't know how long that's been possible. I only found it the other day, but yeah, works well. I am a little bit worried though. It might crash your game as you've seen it was pausing a fair bit and I don't know what causes it. Might be one of the zombies or something, I don't know. Okay, I've built this tunnel in the mountain, so I'm going to test if it's the destroying of the blocks and that that might be causing the issues I'm having with this. So if we can get them to run through here with the hatches, it might work. I know I could be using much better blocks, but I want to see if this is, you know, still good, even at lower levels. Okay, day eight seems to be working. It's being really weird. Ah, uh, here they come from over there. Okay, they can attack the hatches much easier. They're not getting stuck or anything. Oh. I'm gonna set it on auto attack and just walk away and see what happens. Ah, crap. Come back and there's a frickin' Timmy-looking thing. Oh, I'll just move on to the next one. Okay, not many are coming, eh? Bet you there's vultures or something. It's like only two spawning at a time. Why? I can't see any vultures. There's no vultures about. Hmm. Weird. Unless they're digging. Oh. I must get off the top. That was a cop. Oh, I was able to dodge it. I don't really want him to explode. Why is there heaps coming now? What happened? Oh well, you still can use this and spend no money on ammunition. Why are you attacking the side wall? I'm over here. Oh, they're really picking up now. Oh, that's cool. You can move back and let the next one up and yeah. God, I'm stuffing my own gate doing this. Oh, there's Horde Knight. Done. What if you could have a one on the roof? Oh, crap. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Well, there you go. So you got that one. And this one. This one works a lot better because I don't get trapped and it didn't cause the game to bug out and stuff. Which was something that was a big problem. So try this one. If it starts crashing, you're going to have to go to something like that. Might be they're bashing through blocks or something. All right, I'm going to have a quick look up here to make sure they weren't digging underneath. That might have caused it. No. 
Why would they? Make no sense. I don't know if they dug that. Maybe. Yeah, I actually really like this sword base. I like it better than my pyramid one. Because I just like to save ammo. Fortnite's fun, but getting the ammo for it's a pain. You can go through over a thousand rounds in one night. This can be used at low levels too. Easy. I haven't tried it with the javelin. I think I like the sledgehammer more because I could just auto attack and <laughs> if I miss, I can still hit them. You got any suggestions of how you can improve this? Let me know. And also, if you know what causes this one to go buggy, let me know. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.